Hello everybody, in this video we will see how to install Eclipse IDE and how to create the first Java project. So the first thing is to install uh, Eclipse, so let's download it. And here we can go to this first link. And then we can click on download. And here we have two options, either to install, uh, either to download the installer, which is an executable file, or to download a zip file and to extract it. So the second option is better. Also, as we can see here, Eclipse now includes a GDK. So we don't need to install the GDK. We can use the GDK that is available with Eclipse. So let's download the zip file. Here we need Eclipse IDE for Java developers, so we need to click on this link. Let's download this zip file. And here we have the zip file that we can save on the uh, computer, but in my case, I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download and I will use the file that I have already uh, downloaded. So let's extract it. Of course, you can extract it at any location of your computer, but in my case, I prefer to extract it on the folder of the, of the user of this computer. So let's extract it. So this is all that we should do to install Eclipse. Now we can just go to the location where, where Eclipse is extracted and we can start using it. So let's go to the location where I extracted Eclipse, which is this location. So I will create a shortcut for this executable file on the desktop. So this is the shortcut of Eclipse. Let's start it. And in this uh, window, it is asked where I want to create my project. So I will accept this default suggestion and I will say, don't ask again. So let's click on launch. Now let's close this window and let's create a new project. So for the project name, let's call it Hello Eclipse. I can accept the other default suggestions and then I can click on next. And in this uh, window, in fact, as you can see, I have this checkbox create module info.java. I don't need to create a module so I can uncheck this box. Or if I forget to uncheck this box, I can in the next window uh, deny creating the module. So let's leave this box and let's click on finish and therefore I obtain this window so I will just say don't create. Now the project is created and it does not contain any class so let's create a new class. Let's call this class uh, main class. 
then finish. Then in this class, let's create the main method, which will print some uh, text. Let's save this file and let's run it. So I have to make a right click, but before running this file, let's format it. As you can see, it is not very well formatted. So to format it, I have to click on source, then format. Now let's save it and let's run it. As you can see, this is the output. Now let's create another class that shows a window. So let's create a new class. I have to select the project, then file new and new class. So this new class will show a frame. So let's call it main frame. Then finish. And in fact, it is a frame. So it, it, uh, I should add extends G frame. But GFrame was not imported, so we need to import it. So we have to add the import like this. And now the error disappears. Let's add a new method inside this uh, class. Let's call it init. Which builds the frame. And to build the frame, I will just make a copy uh, of uh, some instructions of some statements i will set a title a size and uh, i will make this window visible and also when i click on the close button of the window of the frame i want the, the application to be stopped therefore i added this statement however this class is not imported so i need to import it as you can see the error disappears now of course, I cannot run this file because it does not contain the main method. So if I say uh, run, I cannot see run application. So I cannot run this file. I need to run, uh, I need to use this frame from the main class, which contains the main method. So let's create an object of type main frame. Let's call it my frame. And let's call the init method of this object. Now let's save this file and let's run it. So as you can see, this is the frame that I obtained. It has the title and when I close it, the application will be stopped. So let's close this window. And as you can see, the application is uh, stopped. So finally, I hope that this video is useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel.